Welcome back, Blade fans. I'd like to start this review out by thanking Bob DeMarco of the Knife Junkie channel for this generous loan of this beautiful knife from Vero Engineering, the, <coughs> the Synapse. Bob has loaned a couple other things out. We've done some exchanges. Um, he gets to check out a few of my things. He, I get to check out a few of his. And uh, it's been a good uh, knife relationship. Plus, I try to always attend his Thursday night knives. And if you aren't already, that is a great place to be, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, every Thursday night. Great conversation. Good uh Explaining of various blades, showing of blades, uh, guest uh, attendees, so on and so forth. I'm at a loss for words, obviously. <laughs> but thank you, Bob, again. As I said, uh, this is a Vero Engineering knife, and this is the very first I have come across. Had a chance to see, hold in my hand, and check out... It is a beautifully engineered knife by Vero Engineering. I understand it's made by Best Tech. And I'm getting this information from Bob, who is the knife owner, so he should know. M390 blade steel. Beautiful brushed satin. Drop point. Nice wedge at the top. This is the medium version. I was going to call it the small version but it is the medium and they have a large and extra large in the synapse um, this one has a micarta handle kind of a brown natural micarta and as you can see part of it has begun to darken and part of it still that sort of raw uh, dry uh, threads of the uh, linen Although this is probably canvas by the coarseness of the fiber. It has a titanium, I believe. Yep, titanium backspacer, titanium bolsters. As I said, beautifully finished blade with very little marking on it. There's Vero, the maker's brand. And we're going to see a big V on the clip, which is very attractive and doesn't take away from it at all. And uh, what we have inside the V is a, uh, looks like E-R-O. I don't know the meaning. Oh, Vero. <laughs> Duh. V-E-R-O. Great. <laughs> very cool branding. <laughs> and uh, I'm missing the obvious, I guess. Okay, as I often do. Nice clip. I think I said the clip was titanium. Yes, it is. And we're going to take a, another look around and talk a little more about it. But let's just get an overall length, which is 7. And we're going to call it 3 eighths. And we've got a blade of uh, just short of 3 and a quarter. Maybe uh, we'll call it like a 315. How about that? We have a thickness of the blade stock. Three and a half millimeters. And handle just ahead of the clip, 0 0.54. We have a weight of, drum roll please, 3.4 of a fairly light 3.4 ounces. So those are all the specs that matter, in case you're interested in one. And I know that uh, the way Vero goes is they do runs of these. 
Um, as far as I know, they're not always readily on hand. They have runs. They come in in batches from uh, Best Tech and any other company they may use as an OEM. Uh, you'll notice that this is a front flipper with a very interesting rounded muted tab with jimping on it but oh man fires so easily and it's guillotine so you got to get your fingers out of the way because it falls shut first thing I noticed closing it up very smooth on bearings it just wants to drop Now, something you have on one side that you don't have on the other that I've never seen on any other blade, and perhaps you have, is this notch deeply cut in to the side of the blade. Well, I'm sure you figured that out already. You can middle finger flick it. So if you don't happen to like the flipper tab, which is great, I think, and actually it's not a front flipper tab my apologies when I saw it so small I'm thinking over here not a front flipper tab it's a back flipper but almost not there but light switch it very very easily um, detent probably yeah you can fail it but what it's running on is internal stop pins and I have a lot of knives with internal stop pins. They're not all smooth like this. So credit to the engineering and the manufacturing on this one. I'm sure this comes in other uh, handle materials should you not like the canvas micarta. Beautiful blade. And as far as size goes, it is a small knife as far as I'm concerned. But uh, all four fingers with my medium large hand get onto that handle and the ergos because it is uh, contoured are very nice you get a very large finger groove enough for maybe two fingers really depends and I suppose you could get right up here on the bolster as well jimping is excellent very grippy cut in sharp but not abrasive and a light knife at around three and a half ounces. Fires beautifully. I'm very impressed by the workmanship on this knife. It's what I'd call a bolster lock. You may not call it a bolster lock, but um, it's kind of impressing me as such because uh, really we have the rest of the frame hidden here. So uh, Bolster locks um, that I know of uh, from various manufacturers have that little gap when they're engaged. And when they're closed, that gap meshes perfectly between handle and the frame lock. So in my book, uh, bolster lock is kind of a type of frame lock. You may argue that point, and uh, you're welcome to correct me in the comments if you feel uh, otherwise. Nice middle finger flick. I find uh, the detent not being that strong. Um, you know, you could roll it out slowly with that. Um, but it um, needs just a little bit, little bit of wrist. Gets it going the rest of the way. Look at that blade, though. Um, I understand they're coming out with an XL, Bob says. And, uh, boy, I'd be on board with that as well. These are coming in uh, around 325, 350-ish, I believe. Just uh, gorgeous workmanship. They can only be gotten, to the best of my knowledge and understanding, directly from Vero Engineering. However, um, maybe, maybe, maybe places like Arizona Knives and some of those concerns that carry uh, customs, and this is not a custom, uh, might carry these may, might have a small inventory of them. There you can see that there is a, a number of this knife, 234. That's kind of a cool number, Bob. Number 234, I guess 123 and 234 are both acceptable 
has uh, good numbers. Let's take a look at it quickly against uh, some common fare. Not to disparage Benchmade, but uh, it's a good measuring device. It is a smaller knife than the Benchmade Griptilian. And it's going to also be a smaller knife than the Rat 1. By good, good margin. Another look around. Beautiful stonewash bolsters, equal on both sides. And we have handle material that is equal on both sides. A really nicely fashioned titanium clip. Not deep carry, but I like the ramp. Looks good. When I borrow knives, I don't carry them. I don't use them. Don't do anything to them. Maybe wipe the blade a little with uh, microfiber. That's about it because it looked like Bob had put this to a little bit of use. Maybe opening some of my packages that I send him. <laughs> so that's Vero Engineering, the Synapse, Synapse Medium, drop point. And uh, what more can I say? Just um, you're uh, talking about Vero Engineering and you're talking about an engineered knife. This is certainly it. Very precise very smooth and uh, could be a great user you know if you don't mind carrying a 300 plus knife I think it's great I got a few of those I got to start carrying but um, for now I'm carrying budget knives as much as I can <laughs> all right thanks again to Bob DeMarco of the Knife Junkie channel and uh, all of you for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe we'll be back soon